Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. It's your girl cooking with Tammy. Tonight I'm going to show you how to make the ultimate quick and easy salmon weeknight dinner. Not to mention this recipe is also keto friendly. So let's get to cooking. First one up is our salmon and we are going to incorporate a lot of veggies guys. We're going to incorporate asparagus along with portobello baby mushrooms. We also have a spinach and arugula mix along with fresh broccoli and for our seasonings. We're going to be using dried oregano along with Italian seasoning, paprika, onion powder, garlic powder, garlic and herb seasoning along with ground black pepper, a little pinch of bouillon, whatever you prefer. Since we're rocking out with salmon, you could definitely use seafood, bouillon, or even chicken along with Italian dressing. Use your favorite brands and last but not least, oil and lemon. So with all of that being said, let's get to cooking. First thing I like to do when I'm making the salmon dinner is get my dried seasonings and add them to a bowl. We're gonna start off with some dried oregano along with dried Italian seasoning. Just gonna add it to the bowl just like that. We're also gonna add a good amount of paprika. And by the way, this is regular paprika. It's not smoked, all right? We're also gonna add some onion powder along with garlic powder our garlic roasted and herb seasoning. I'm gonna go in a little extra with that. We're gonna add our black pepper along with our bouillon. Like I said earlier, add whatever bouillon you prefer, right? We're gonna add some olive oil. Gonna add a good amount because we need this to spread onto our salmon really easily without any problem. We're also going to add some of our Italian dressing, about two tablespoons. And once we're done, guess what? We're going to get some mixing. <laughs> we're going to mix it on up really, really good. Make sure everything is well incorporated. Looking good so far. The flavors in this bowl that we just created, trust me, it's going to bring out the ultimate flavor in our salmon so good you're probably gonna end up eating this like literally two to three times if not four times for the week we're also gonna add some lemon juice feel free to add fresh or bottled lemon juice whatever you have on hand is perfect mix it on up a little bit more I want to change the color of it even more right so I'm gonna add some more paprika paprika is not gonna give it any flavor just gonna enhance the colors a slight bit we have the perfect consistency going on this is all we need right here this is it let's put this bowl to the side and cut our salmon in half now here's the thing guys my salmon has the skin on all right however you can feel free to remove the skin if you want i've made this recipe so many times this week already and i went ahead and took the skin off in order to remove the skin it's so simple just grab your salmon flip it on over and just take it on off just like that all right, not into it, but to get it done. Like I said, I'm gonna leave the skin on. No particular reason, just no particular reason whatsoever, just personal preference. I wanna perforate the salmon just a bit because I want all of those flavors that we created in our bowl to seep into the salmon. Just like that. The other thing is this recipe, guys, the great thing about it is not only can we rock out with putting the salmon in the oven but we can also use our air fryer this recipe is also air fryer friendly as well which is great we're going to take a good amount of our seasoning i'm just gonna spread it onto the salmon if you want to go ahead and use a basting brush you can definitely do that as well whatever works all right whatever works to get the job done is what you are gonna do we want to make sure we get the sides as well because we're gonna be eating all parts of the salmon in the meanwhile I have my baking sheet lined with aluminum foil we're gonna take our salmon we're gonna place it just like that now here's the thing when it comes to the cooking instructions for the salmon in the air fryer you, obviously you're going to heat your air fryer on up all brands are different all right 
you're gonna place it on the seafood or fish setting and you're gonna definitely add some non-stick cooking spray or oil to the air fryer you're gonna place the salmon in there also add some of that oil to your salmon as well once you're done you're gonna allow the salmon to cook on up and guess what the great thing about it is for this particular recipe you don't even have to flip the salmon over allow the salmon to cook all the way through and you'll be a-okay next one up is our asparagus asparagus usually comes you know obviously in this length however by the time we're done it's no longer gonna be that length because we're gonna break it we're gonna snap it on off simply because if you don't let's say if you cook the whole thing you're gonna be chewing all night all right <laughs> because that this part right here is really woody and best thing to do is just take it on off it has a natural breaking point so quick so easy so simple of course make sure you wash all of your veggies first before consumption all right we're gonna toss this into the garbage because obviously this is not needed using either the same brush or a different brush make sure it's washed and cleaned good to go so we're gonna add some to our veggies just like that perfect hit the asparagus off really good with this seasoning i'm telling you guys such a good combination I'm going to get in there and toss it around because I want to make sure every single asparagus has some of this delicious seasoning on top of it. Not to mention things like asparagus or Brussels sprouts. You need all the good flavor you could possibly get to make it appetizing in order to enjoy eating it. All right, we're done. We're looking good. 17 minutes on the salmon, about 12 to 15 minutes on the asparagus. Both at 350. While the salmon is in the oven, let's work on rough chopping some fresh garlic. All right, perfect. Let's hit our wok off with some oil along with our butter. I'm gonna start off with adding our mushrooms. Let's add our finely chopped garlic. Let's mix it on up to make sure everything is well incorporated. We're gonna add our broccoli to the mix. I'm gonna add some dried oregano. Season it on up just a bit. We're also going to add some Italian seasoning. Let's add some garlic powder and onion powder. Some roasted garlic and herb seasoning. However, if you don't have that on hand, let's use a pinch of adobo. That would definitely heighten the flavors as well. Once we're done, we're going to give it a final toss. Mix it on up really, really good. Make sure the seasonings are well distributed. Let's introduce our spinach and arugula mix. I love arugula. It has that nice little peppery aftertaste. It's so delicious. We're going to go ahead and add all of it in the pan if we can make it possibly fit. <laughs> At this time, I'm not going to try to bring the veggies from the bottom to the top. I'm just going to allow it to wilter down naturally. And once it breaks down, then I'm going to incorporate and bring all of the veggies and mix them on in. Once we're done, we're going to cover it on down with the lid. After about three minutes, <laughs> our spinach has broken down so much. All right, so we're just going to get in there. We're just going to bring everything from the bottom, place it on the top, mix it on in really, really good. And our veggies are done. We're going to start off with adding our stir-fried veggies along with our perfectly seasoned asparagus. How do we know when our asparagus is cooked through properly? Once it starts to decrease in size, that would be my indication, but should be your indication that the asparagus is ready to be removed from the oven. How do we know when our salmon is perfectly cooked? Touch the thickest part of the salmon, and if it's nice and firm, then guess what? Your salmon is cooked and ready to be served. Our plate is ready to be eaten and enjoyed. As always, I'm your girl cooking with Tammy. Let me know if you want me to keep these keto-friendly recipes coming. Don't forget to get your seasonings at cookingwithtammy.shop. As always, I'm your girl cooking with Tammy, and I will definitely catch you in another video. Talk to you later. Bye, guys.